bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Welcome back. This is Comcast Newsmakers from the Washington State History Museum. I'm Tony Ventrella. Thanks for joining us uh, today. We're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, journalism, the new wave of journalism with uh, Monica Guzman, who is the online PI's big blog reporter. Is that close? That's right. Okay, good. Monica, welcome. Thank you. Um, tell me, first of all, for those who don't know what a blog is, what, how does a blog differ from a print column that you see in the paper? Well, a blog, a blog is a format. It's a way of presenting news and a way of presenting stories that is different from the traditional uh, way of just putting up a story already complete, already fully reported. A blog opens up the process. It's flexible. You can add to it later. You can put up bits and pieces as you report them. And the other great advantage of it is that you can open it up to conversation with readers. So readers can comment. They can kind of help you, you know, sure. from the journalist's perspective, sure. uh, ask you questions, tell you what they want to know. Is the blog style of writing more of a conversational style than the old print it certainly I guess can it depends be. on the writer. But it depends on the writer. It depends on how you approach the medium. Um, it has it has a huge potential for connection with readers on a personal level. So you are you're writing for the PI's big blog, what, and the topics are as big as the city, basically. It is. We've decided to make the, the PI's big blog, and it's evolved over time. But uh, the big blog focuses on the stories that Seattle is talking about. Okay. That's That's the qualifier. So that can range from schools to politics to crime to, you know. The economy, which it's all about this year. But, yeah. uh, as a person who started in the print newspaper business many years ago and had to deal with editors, is the editing process similar or how different is it? Let's it is similar in that we do strive for as much accuracy, responsibility in our reporting as ever before. However, it is faster. So in my case, I tend to get one edit rather than the traditional two or three right. that a traditional newspaper story would go through. Now, the fact that it's the internet, you're talking about a blog being an ongoing story. You may have information today or tomorrow that you didn't have today, but you'll tell your viewers, I'm checking this out, we'll get back to you. That kind of thing. Precisely. So yeah. the idea, the, the viewers, standard, I mean your, your readers. <laughs> the standard by which you judge whether a story you're writing is complete is different because you can say, okay, well, is it complete enough so that I can give a fact, uh, and then can I say, all right, I know you guys are probably wondering about this, that, and the other thing. I'm checking. I'll I'll get back to you. Gotcha. Okay. Is now for a lot of people who are from my era. Mm -hmm. uh, the you know black and white TV that kind of thing. Uh, the news I love to see the newspaper on my sidewalk in the morning on my driveway. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's in the bushes, but you know what I mean. <laughs> is now where we're going to see that? Is the newspaper of yesterday gone? Are we not going to see that anymore in ten years? Well, that's that's the big question facing the industry right now. I think there's a lot of there's some cynicism, there's a lot of negativity, but there's also some hope and some knowledge that at the end of the day, people need information and they'll get it. And when you really look at it, though the internet might be very slowly, you know, killing the business in some ways, what it is also doing is it's opening up all these connections and possibilities that sure. we didn't have before. So if you take the business aside, which you really can't, well, uh, it really is a wonderful thing for readers to have digital media they can access all the time, right. that can be updated all the time, that they can contribute and comment on. Could the digital media not cross-promote the print media? Or is oh. that not happening? Oh, it is absolutely it? is. There's newspapers experimenting with just about every idea is being tried. And speaking of that, with only about 40 seconds to go with Monica Guzman of the BI, uh, PI's big blog, what about neighborhood blogs? They're, they're big now, aren't they? Oh, they're huge. And Seattle is a great case study in the rise of neighborhood blogs. Um, you know, a couple years ago, there were maybe two, maybe yeah. three, started by people who just lived in their neighborhood and were, for whatever reason, passionate about telling stories in their neighborhood. Nowadays, it's starting to catch on. And it seems like every month, there's a new blog. Just the other day, I was speaking about somebody who wants to start one. And the wonderful thing about it is it really shows you how passionate people can be yep. Yep. about their own, uh, their own area. And it's and teaching journalists a lot of lessons about what readers want to know. And the people, and most people care about where they live, number one. Monica, we're out of time. Thank you. Great job. Come back again anytime. Thank you, Tony. Monica Guzman, uh, P.I.'s big blogger and uh, small, but on the big blog. You know what I mean. I'm Tony Ventrella. We will see you next time.